else can help and if you can find them may you can watch the VT Hold up sir word Yeah to all the killers and the hundred dollar billers Yeah for real you soon ain't got no feelings feelings Hello, we are live. Welcome to this edition of The Vape Team. My name is Brian. I have a channel on YouTube called The Vapor Chronicles. That's right, The Vapor Chronicles. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Another episode, episode 26, is finally upon us. And the truth is, we're basically like a bunch of 15-year-olds that just got old. And that's what's going on here. So if you like uh, hanging out, if you like vaping, this is the place to be. And I'd like to introduce my two partners in crime, Mikey motherfucking Viz Apes. What's up? What's up, peeps? And the man himself, he's proving everybody wrong on a weekly basis. He's back yet again because we love him. He even drives through stormy weather to be with us. <laughs> <laughs> BK Baracus. I do. A.K.A. Buck Kickers. <laughs> Worldwide traveler. How's everybody doing this? <laughs> what's up, what's up? All right, well, let's talk about what we're vaping. Why don't we start off with the traditional. Mike, buffet time. Buffet time. You have to one-up yourself every week. Hmm. I have my sub-tank mini on the IPVD2. I'm uh, vaping uh, Keyberry yogurt from Kilo. Good stuff right there. I love it. I got the little SMY 60 watt TC with the Aroma Miser, and I got the Velocity Build Deck in there. Vaping on some, uh, no, I got I put actually mixed two juices in here. I don't remember what it is. I'll tell you the truth, I did like a concoction. It's good, but anyway, I got that going. And this Aroma Miser with the Velocity Build Deck, nice. Also doing a little retro vaping. I got the SX Mini. M class. <laughs> I know, right? This has become like retro vaping now. It was like May. Yeah, this is like old news, this uh, device. SX Mini with the Tube Tank Pro from Volcano e -Sigs. In here, I'm vaping some uh, Chewy. Telios Remix Chewy. Good stuff Ooh, here. Motherfucking Chewy. Chewy. This is a uh, strawberry granola custard. No, yogurt. My bad. Yes, I got that. And another retro vaping item I have. I'm using my boxer mod over here. And I got my uh, Mike Vapes crown tank with some um, Rocket Man. And then last and not least, I got more, but I'm not going to outdo Heathen again. I'll let him uh, outdo me on the next video. But uh, <laughs> next thing I, <laughs> I got, I'm using the VT200. With my Twisted Messages RDA, vapors on some V Clouds Heaven's Milk, strawberry custard. Very good stuff here. What was that? V Clouds what? V Clouds Heaven's Milk. It's a what? strawberry custard, but it's not very custardy. It's smooth. Good sherry. And massive clouds with this jammy. Woo. Love it. Nice. Wow, I couldn't even see you for like 60 seconds. I should have thought. <laughs> I, got the BK, I got the BK build in here. Dual uh, 24 gauge, running parallel on a 3 millimeter bit, 5 wraps. Came out to 0.14, 90 watts. No. Good shit. So during this whole time, I'm going to do a test. So in this next hour, I'm going to try just vaping this exclusively, actually, because I want to see how much of the battery life goes down. So this is a fully charged battery. Those were my first few hits that I've taken out of it. So I want to see what it does in an hour. So Can he kill it, ladies and gentlemen, one hour? Well, he will. I'm gonna say no, BK. I'm gonna. We should take. You know what? We should get some. Books actually, wait. That's that's a twenty-six six fifty, isn't it? 
No, it's a lipo. Lipo. Last yeah. night I was on uh, Fresh's show, and uh, well, his show is a three-hour show, and in the first two hours, I think I was down to like 20% battery life, hitting this at 90 watts, and it went quick. So we'll see what I could do in an hour. Well, there's, there's the topic for the show tonight. We're going to leave the camera fixed on Mikey Vapes, and he's going to vape that nonstop for one hour. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> BK, I can't even look at you seriously. You look like a grown adult. You look very uh, well, sophisticated. You know, it, it does happen sometimes, like when I'm not work, you know, when I'm not doing videos or hanging out with you guys, usually I look like uh, a 43-year-old fuck in a polo shirt, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> But, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm not always broed out with the hat and T-shirts, you know, believe it or not. But, uh, you know, I'm vaping on the standard. I mean, just my standard mech. I just got out of the car and flipped this on tonight. You know, I barely made it to the show, so I just have what I have in my pocket. The Sub-Zero mod with the shorty switch. I've got the Kennedy Comp. Go figure. I mean, it's all I vape. Uh, this is the BK build, but it's a four-wrap, 24-gauge parallel. I think it's like .12. Point one, something like that throws pretty nice. I'm dripping a little bit of this and drip this stuff. This is berry cone and cream. Really, really good shit. Uh, what else do I have? I have the Cloudpour GT in temperature control mode, believe it or not, with the OBS tank. I've got the colored ones, but I had to be boring and uh, vape the stainless one tonight. And really, that's it. That's all I Thanks. have down here with me anyway. Yeah. Oh. And there goes Mike. Mike loves getting the camera when he's clouding. Oh, he doesn't like giving the love. Come on, BK. Do that cloud again, BK. Talk and do that cloud. Wait, hold on a second. Let me grab a rip here, folks. There a we dose, go. A dose vape. You're like the Billy Mays of modern vaping. <laughs> Ain't I know? Did you see my 521 tab video? That was kind of Billy Mays-ish, i got to admit. I, I haven't had a chance to read <laughs> I love when P. Vissardo does the Philly Mays videos. Oh, uh, they're fucking fantastic. They really are. He does a good job yeah. on them. Yeah, I mean, I, I will admit, the 521 tab, that was less of a review and more of a pitch. Because I love that thing. Oh, I love it too. I think it's great. It's awesome, and I think it's I think it's fairly accurate too. Yeah, um, for, I mean, just pr provided yeah. you screw the thing on there consistently. I mean, you don't want to screw it down too tight. You don't want to screw it on too loose. You just kind of screw it on so it just touches and it's snug, and then that's it, and it works nice. Actually, you know what, BK? I'd like to welcome your beard back to the vape the vape team. I know, right? It is progressing I'm nicely. Not sure, I'm not sure if I'm going to go full-on Duck Dynasty this time, though. I don't know. I guess you guys are going to have to come back and watch and uh, find out for yourselves. The story will be continued. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what am I vaping? Well, I'm vaping a lot, as always. And uh, the first thing I'm vaping is this beautiful Tobacco tank that we have right here. This is the Tobacco... Su mini super tank, which has su awesome airflow. I have an Aspire Triton coil in here right now. I think it's the 0.4 ohm, running it at 60 watts. Um, in the mail today, I got some fresh O3 juice that I haven't even tried yet, but I'm going to be dripping some of that during the show tonight. So thank you, Fresh. I appreciate that. Um, oh, Mike. Mike. Yes, sir. A little bit of Jazzy Boba. Nice. Jazzy uh, Boba. Thank you, Fresh. There you got go, them. Fresh. I got them steeping, my man. I got them steeping. Uh, fresh, question for you. I know you're in the comments. The, the Addy's, uh, what was it, Addy's yogurt? Is that what it's called? Does it need to be steeped? Uh, on, the, on the paper, it said no. It just said... Uh, just the one, right? Yeah. Strawberry milkshake? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't 100% sure if they all or just that one. Yeah. He did say if the, the lemon limeade or whatever that was, he said if that has some issues, then you might want to uh, leave the cap off for like an hour if it's a little too harsh. Yes. 
So, my neck is stiff as shit. Anyway, Jazzy Boba. So, I got that. Picked it up from a local vape shop called Greatest Vapes in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. So, I'd like to thank my boys over there. What else am I vaping? Oh, I got... Actually, I have to wick this on the show because I burnt the cotton before the show started. But, uh... uh yeah, I wasn't vaping, Mike. I was actually get, trying to get rid of the juice on on the on the wicking, so that I could drip fresh as shit and not have flavor mixing. So it's probably better that I'm re-wicking. I'm actually wicking this Kendo vape cotton. Have you guys tried that? Good yes, shit. I have. It's fucking amazing. Where the fuck did I put that? It's MIA. Missing in ass. I don't even know. Anyway, Kendo vape cotton is really good. Super, super fluffy and absorbent, like a tampon. And uh, I don't think it's a tampon. I hope, yeah, this is cotton for vaping. Anyway. That's dirty, he'll tell you. Yeah. Uh, I'm vaping that on my Stro, on my Stro, which is right here, Stro Mini, with my Javier Custom Box. Uh, oh, I'm also vaping on my Railbox, Authentic Railbox, right here. I'll review that probably sometime this week on the Vapor Chronicles. And in there, I have my Monster V3 from 5 to 8 Customs. Oh, that right is there. dope. I didn't know you, you like got that? a Railbox. Oh, yeah. A little Railbox. No battery in there right now. Actually, you know what? Let's fucking throw a battery in there. Let's do it. Battery. It's a DNA 40. And... Uh, all you do, it's got this little slider right here. There's your tank. Boom, you pop it down, pop it out, take your tank off or refill, pop it in, and then slide it back up again. Cover, and you're back to vaping. So I'm hitting the rail box, and that's pretty much it. So this segment of our show is finished. All right, we're done. Everybody have a good night. Mike, get to vaping then. Thank you for joining us. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I'm how drinking was your... club soda tonight, guys. Not booze. You all right? I just lost thirty subscribers right there. <laughs> all your all your booze friends just left. <laughs> I was trying to get a liver uh, liver transplant company to sponsor the vape team. Fuck BK, you're ruining it. I know, I know, I know. I'm all out of sorts here tonight. You know, I had to I had to run my fiance to the hospital because she was ignoring a cavity in her tooth. I didn't even know about it until yesterday. And uh, then her eye swelled shut during dinner tonight, so I had to run her off to the hospital. And yeah, I'm still in like old man mode. I, I didn't even really want to drink. Believe that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys. It's always <laughs> unpredictable here on the vape team. One week. Mm -hmm. BK could be on the verge of going on a rampage, and the next week he could be a responsible mid 40s adult male. Come on, man! You're ruining my rep. <laughs> <laughs> you have been you've been putting out those reviews with a reckless uh, abandon lately, BK. Yeah, I know. I have so many to do. I just have to. You know, it's going to be at least five a week minimum for the indefinite future. I mean, at least have to. I have too much stuff. If I don't do it, I'm, it's, it's going to be retro vaping by the time I get the fucking re reviews out. I love your posts on Facebook. It's like, uh, reviewed, I got this shit in the mail every day, but I only vape this. And, and you take out your, your mech. <laughs> I love it's it. It's the truth. You know, yeah, you speak <clears throat> the truth. I mean, having said that, you know, the OBS tanks, they just sent me a bunch of these. And... Yeah, I, I vape them all day. I'll carry one around for like, you know, four or five days and vape it and get a nice feel for it, swap the different heads in and out. But the whole time, I'm vaping this. <laughs> I even have the Rig V2, and I'm still vaping this. I mean, it's just what I do. I find something I like, and I vape it every day. You only got one life. Vape it. Vape it. <laughs> <laughs> we need to have that guy on the show one of these We sure weeks. do. Best fucking intro on YouTube. Seriously. Uh, I have uh, some uh, an important announcement, if you folks don't mind, if I chime in a little bit. So the circle, the circle of life has been in full effect this week. Uh, first off, I'm grateful that I'm not in jail. Uh, now, if you watched Fresh's show last night, you're already going to know. And if you haven't watched the show before, I murdered a praying mantis. 
And I'm happy to say that two of the Thank you, Mike. Uh, <laughs> it does have more of a fucking impact, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, I, I love it. I was trying to get it there quick. It's like, I paid my bills. <laughs> I shit the bed. <laughs> All right. So the, the uh, my wife got home from work yesterday, and she was outside, and she goes, oh, my God, oh, my God, you have to go, come see this. And right outside, two praying mantises, male and female, were doing the nasty. So there will be babies, and the death of a mantis brings new life. That is all. Wait, wait. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Well, at least, the, at least the praying mantises are doing the nasty over there, right, Brian? Well, you know, BK, that is true. Somebody is getting some action. <laughs> Hashtag married life. <laughs> Hashtag not hitting that shit. <laughs> Seriously. Man card revoked. <laughs> <laughs> not everybody can live like a porn star, BK. Congratulations. Hey, it ain't easy being sleazy, man. Dude, $20 is $20 no matter whose mouth it is. <laughs> only gay if you push back. Truth. Just saying. Truer words have never been spoken. So, oh, my wife just texted me a picture. Where I don't have the picture, Amy. You need to text me if you're watching this. So, that's going to be later in the show. Uh, before I lose track, I want to give an announcement for the winners of the giveaway, Mike. Yeah. You have an announcement first. Why don't you start off with your announcement? Uh, the two giveaways that I was going to give out, the two Coopers... I actually got to hold off on them because there's, there might be an issue. So we're going to do the four winners today and two next week. So next week will be the other two. I can't announce them yet, my two winners. So sorry. Might, I might be having issues with uh, Cooper and uh, Mad Vapes. So it's being resolved as we speak. So I can't announce you. All right. It will be two so winners. Here is the... Picture of the manises from last night. This is actually a, a picture from my backyard. For anybody that's interested, I'm sorry, Mike, I interrupted you with manis love. It kind of makes you feel guilty that you're invading. Like it's like some sort of an insect sex thing. I don't know. That's that. <laughs> Go ahead, Mike. I'm sorry, I interrupted. Uh, I'm just reading these comments here. Some crazy shit going on in there. I'll tell you that much. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, we're going to wait up. Either way, if it's not the Cooper Mini, I'm going to give away something else. Maybe something better. So, patience. Next week, I'll announce the winners. All right. Well, I'm, kind of lost. I'm lost on the controversy here. Is this like some sort of legal thing? or? No, it's, I'll explain what happened. Uh, Cooper uh, offered me uh, 20, 20 Cooper Minis to do a giveaway. So I already gave away 18 of them. Oh, okay. And I had two more left. So I don't have the device on hand. What Cooper was going to do is, so this way nobody pays for shipping. They said they were going to gotcha. send them to Mad Vapes, and as long as I had Mad Vapes link in the channel, I mean, in the video, showing yeah. that they could purchase from there, that Mad Vapes is going to send out all the, the Coopers. Oh, okay, but, that's nice. Yeah, but it's like, I don't know what the hell is going on. Nobody's answering me. It's all fucked up right now. So that's why I don't gotcha. want to put two more people hounding me. Where's my Cooper? Meanwhile, I'm not, I don't have them in my hands. You know, so let me resolve this. And uh, I got a video that's going to be up tomorrow explaining everything on my channel. So, But, yeah, so we're going to do four winners today. Are gonna be, uh, have been picked already. And uh, Brian uh, will announce those winners. Yes, I will. So for the winners, before the show tonight, Mike and I had met in chat, and we uh, randomly picked four people from the comments from last week's show, and the winners are... Number one, The Ox. Congratulations, The Ox. You have won. Uh, I will contact you very, very soon, probably after the show sometime later tonight or tomorrow by email, or no, I'm going to 
contact you. However, you can be contacted on the About page on your YouTube. That's how I'm going to contact you. Uh, so congratulations to you. Next up, number two. George Trella. Congratulations, George Trella. You have won a Coupe War Mini. Nice. Yes. Number three. These are actually people that watch our videos. Brian Barlow. Brian Barlow, you have won the Coupe War Mini giveaway. Congratulations to you, sir. And last but definitely not least... Keith Massey. Keith Massey, congratulations. You have also won, and I'd like to thank you all for commenting. And, and more importantly, thanks for being a part of the community. Thanks for sharing with us on this journey of vaping and, and helping other people. You know, we like, to, we like to give freely, and we expect um, once you build your foundation, once you find freedom from smoking, that you're going to give freely what was freely given to you. And um, that's what this is all about. It's about us helping each other find satisfying vape and not smoking. <coughs> So congrats. Brian, have you considered like a side gig of doing like motivational posters? Uh, yeah, thank you, BK. You remember when you were in grade school and they had the motivational posters like in the principal's office? Yeah, like achieve, and I'm in there waiting for the fucking vice principal because I got caught smoking behind the school. Exactly. Yeah. Those. <laughs> yeah. I should, I should start designing them more like greeting cards or something. You should. You'd be very good at it. Yeah, but you and I could be like the late night infomercial specials. I'll be doing like motivational fucking book sales, and you'll be doing like <laughs> Billy Mays type shit. <laughs> I'll be selling OxyClean. And Mike will be offering the services. If anybody fucks with you, you break their fucking kneecaps, you call 1 800 hit that shit. Break that. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> so. What else? Oh, I needed to give two shout-outs real quick. Two shout-outs. The first shout-out is Vapin' Happy from YouTube. Vapin' Happy, happy birthday. I said I'd do it, and happy birthday to you. I hope you had a wonderful birthday. Happy birthday to you. And Logan from Vape Escape in Delaware. You took care of my wife when she was in there getting some juice, and I'd like to give a shout-out to you, Logan. Vape Escape in Delaware. Thank you very much. That's it. I'd personally like to give another shout-out to Dirty DeVoe. Like, he doesn't get enough shout-outs, but he's doing some serious reviewing lately. He's kicking some ass. Oh, by the way, in the comments, CJ Scherer. Uh, his name is Chris Scherer, and him and I went to elementary school and middle school together. And uh, he lives local to me, and really awesome guy, really nice friend of mine. And uh, he, he, he started vaping. I saw him in a local vape shop a couple months ago. And um, he found the va the vape team in the Vapor Chronicles. So, Chris, what's up, bro? Welcome to the show. He's an awesome guy. Be, g be gentle, Dirty Devo. <clears throat> he's in the chat? <laughs> yeah, he's in the chat. Say hello to Chris, Mike. Hello, Chris. How you doing, buddy? That's his name in the chat, Chris? Yeah, yeah it's CJ Scherer. Okay. And, and, Chris, don't tell anybody shit about anything from back in the day. Oh, <laughs> I might have to make him a winner in a giveaway. Uh, Just like uh, him a scoop. <laughs> we were never touching for just the feeling. That's all I have to say. All righty. Yeah. So, topic for tonight is... Drum Mike? roll, please. Mike Vips. Oh, Mike Vape's new gear. That was the topic. Mike. Yes. Why don't you share that shit? What shit? Which ones? You, you got a whole lot going on that I can I can physically oh, like, see. What, like uh, t-shirt stuff you're talking about? Your hat? Your t-shirt? Oh, the hat. The hat uh, I had it custom made when I was in uh, Connecticut. You ever hear of like, um, what's this store? Lids? They sell hats? Lids? You know those stores? You ever yeah. hear of Lids? Yeah, they have I've like, heard of it. yeah, they got like a machine that like customized stuff, and they hooked up that right there for me. Nice. Yeah, had that done. Loving it. And uh, what else? Yeah, I got some T-shirts made up. Beautiful. Some stickers. 
They're somewhere. I don't know. Where. I got stickers and stuff. Vapingswag.com. That's where you can pick them up. You can pick up my stuff there. You can also pick up Mark Vaping Fake and stuff there too. And Vaping Heathen. They got stuff there too. Vape Fog also has stuff there too. Blood Kickers Reviews will have stuff up there probably next week or so. Very nice. Lids in the just... Mall. That's right, Felix. Lids in the Mall. It was at a Tanger. Ever hear of a Tanger Outlets? Yes. Yeah, the casino I was at, it was uh, Foxwoods Casinos in Connecticut. And they just built a Tanger Outlets connected to the casino. Smart by them, you know? This way you go there, a couple goes there, and the wife don't want to sit around and watch the husband gamble. They could go shopping. No, just go or the other way around. If the wife likes to gamble, the husband goes sh shops. But uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. It was nice, nice, uh, nice little getaway. Some gambling. How, how long were you away for, Mike? Two days, two nights. Yep. Also on vaping swag, they're going to be selling uh, used uh, BK underwear with his uh, autograph on them. Skid marks are five dollars extra. <laughs> people, people want hashtag whale shit T-shirts made. BK. <laughs> they want to know who the winner was for the, the dirty boxers <laughs> chat. We didn't announce that winner. <clears throat> well, Raina Treadwell already has her name on a pair, so one of them's gone. There's only one left, and I think that's going to Devoe. Dirty Devoe is the winner. Yeah. Nice. So, you were telling us last night, Mike, you had a little luck at the casino. You uh, you hit that shit, right? Yeah, I won 500. So. That's not bad. It's better than yeah. losing. Oh, yeah. No, it was good. But uh, the wife spent it all <laughs> in the outlet. I broke even. Spend that shit. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I've been uh, wondering all week, BK, why don't you fill us in on your adventures of last weekend? Because I'm sure it was exciting. I was getting, like, uh, 1 o'clock in the morning fucking pictures from Coilmaster sent to my phone. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should share oh, some of these. It was yeah, awesome. Go ahead. It it was let us know time. what happened. How did everything go? Everything. It, it was amazing. It was an amazing show. The people down south are just wonderful. I mean, pretty much almost everyone I met down there was fantastic, except for one person who I'm not going to uh, name, <coughs> Grim Green. Um, <clears throat> I ended up hanging out with Squid Dude at the bar and some other guy who does crazy builds. We had a good time. Um, the guys from Coilmaster, I drug them back to the bar, got them drunk. They were fucking awesome. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, those guys are all hardcore vapors. I mean, it, it was just... Just such a good time. Again, like the, the people down south, it, it's just a culture shock if you're from the northeast. Everyone is just so friendly and laid back and calm. Uh, vaped a lot of amazing juice down there, which was odd because most of the shit in Jersey sucked. A lot of the shit down south was awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, it was just a good time. Really good time. Obviously, there were no problems with anyone getting fined for vaping or anything like that, you know. Uh, got, I shot a little bit of video footage down there. Not a lot. Not as much as I would have liked to. Uh, fortunately, I caught Johnny Lolo ripping some awesome O's. I got some good video of that. And the rest of it's just, uh, you know, a little bit of video of the place all clouded out. It was hard to get good video in there because it was so packed and it was so cloudy. Were there a lot of vendor support there? Yeah, there were a lot of vendors there. A lot of vendors. Obviously, there was a lot of juice vendors, but there was quite a few um, modders there as well. Um, it was just really nice. I hung out with the people from AMP, American Made Products, the Rig V2 company. Super, super cool people. Um, if you were lucky enough to be down there, you could have picked up a Rig V2 in brass, copper, or stainless for like 80 85 bucks, depending on which day. Nice. Um, so there was a lot of nice deals to be had. It was just, just a super good time. And then you walk, you walked out of the convention center. You were in the middle of Winston Salem, North Carolina, which is just, it's just beautiful, laid-back southern city, and it was just so nice, you know. 
what what really struck me was you know you go out to eat down there how fucking cheap it is <laughs> you know we'd go out to out for lunch or something it'd be like 15 bucks you know it was wild nice yeah the place i go for lunch every day just to get a salad it's 15 dollars <laughs> like no shit yeah, I'm, t- I'm talking like two or three people you know it, it was just crazy awesome you know i probably only spent a couple hundred dollars the whole weekend it was just really well, awesome. uh, BK, what were the guys from coil master what kind of uh what were they vaping on do you remember what are they, they were vaping on regular they were vaping on regulated devices uh wang fang i forget what he was vaping on believe it or not i'm the best friends with wang fang but his spoken English kind of isn't that good. So I was speaking with Kevin and uh, Mike most of the time, mostly Mike. Mike was vaping a, uh, what the hell was it? I think he had an SX Mini and a dripper. And the other guy had some sort of regulated device and a tank. And, yeah, I mean, they were awesome. You know, I took them back to the bar at the Marriott. We had some beers. We got a little drunk and had a good time. We hung out for, you know, probably three or four hours that night. You got any picks? I had that one pick from the show, but Mike didn't want me to take any picks at the bar because he was afraid he'd get in trouble from his boss if they were on <laughs> I'll pull up some picks right now. I have them right here. Nice. Do don't, don't get them in trouble, though, Mike. I think BK was the well, only one. Just don't one. post them. I mean, if you show them on the live show. No, yeah, I got it right here. You guys can check it out. There's some of the Coil Master guys right there. Who took this pick? <coughs> That looks like a selfie. Is that the one in the expo? Yeah, this is a... Oh, yeah, that's that's for me. I guess I took that. Yeah. Got that one. Any, what else? Any got, more risque? Wayne kept, on, Wayne kept on sending me pictures. <laughs> I guess Wang was taking them then, because Wang go. was sitting to the right of me. Yeah, there's another pick right there. So Wang's sending me all these pictures. Of you guys, so then I sent him a pic. What'd you send him? I sent him all up. I'm pulling it up right now. Come on. Fuck. All right, doesn't want to pull that pick up. We need to get like elevator music for when we have like dead air on the show. It'll be like. Or crickets. Crickets work great. It won't let me pull up the picture. I don't know why. Anyway. Well, I was getting pictures all night, and it was like Wang with BK at the bar, Wang with BK on the dance floor, Wang taking off BK's pants, <laughs> Wang. I mean, it was getting crazy. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, Wang, stop it. Just stop it. Yeah, you can see the picture right there, actually. It won't let me put it up. So I'd send a picture of me vaping the coil master back to him. <laughs> <laughs> 521 tab. Nice. Yeah, coil master's been doing a good job coming out with, you know, improvements every single time they release something. It's better the next time. Yeah. That, that yeah, they're V2. Work, they're, they're working on something really cool right now, too. Is that, like, non talk aboutable? Yeah, it's pretty much non talk aboutable. Okay. Well, we'll have to wait and see. I'm sure that it'll be awesome, though, because they've been coming out with some serious shit lately. I'll give one hint, though. It has nothing to do with rebuilding. All right. Well, no, it has a little to do with rebuilding, but yeah, all right, that's all you're getting. That's all you're getting. Yeah. Yep, I got a feeling I'm all of these. So. I don't want to piss. I don't want to piss him off. Wang will take me off the list, you know. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to piss Wang off. Any 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 tasty juices, BK? Anything new that you have never tried before that really hit the spot? Yeah, actually, I. Uh... I came across this stuff. It was organic, and I, I vaped a bunch of organic juices before, but they're usually terrible. This stuff was just phenomenal. I got the whole line. I'm going to throw a review up one of these days when uh, I have some time. Um, and Drip, I got their line. Really good stuff too. Um, company called Voluptuous Vapors. I actually know them because they're out of Pennsylvania. John, he was down there, so we hung out this weekend. I got his line. I'm going to do that. And um, what the hell's the other one? It's another one that was, oh, how could I forget them? Uh, drip and, what's it called? Drip and Drive? Drip, drip and Clouds. Fucking amazing juice. Amazing juice. 
Um, I ended up hanging out with that guy for probably like 25% of the weekend. They're California guys, and believe it or not, they're not douchebags, which was just mind-blowing to me. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to have a review up on that shit soon, too. So I have four lines from down there I'm going to do reviews on. Have you tried an organic brand, uh, Drip Nation? Yeah, it's, eh, you know, I, I, found that, I found that their flavors, a lot of them were too pungent for me, mm. but, I mean, that's subjective. Yeah, I liked one of their flavors, the strawberry, uh, what was, it? It was something strawberry, it was good. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about, I've had that. Yep, can't remember the name exactly of the flavor, but, uh. It was a strawberry flavor. It was good. Have you uh, sampled any of Fresh's juices, Mike? No, not yet. Oh, yeah. yeah, I had... Um, you, want a, you want a cricket battle? I had the me? yogurt. I'll cricket battle you. I had the yogurt, and I believe I had Addy's custard as well. The custard and the yogurt. Oh, we're going to do a juice taste right now. Let's see. What I'll one do it, too. All right, the clear one he said was the Addy. <laughs> he said the cloudy one was his special. I don't know. It looks kind of cloudy. Yeah. The cloudy one's lemonade. Uh, I'll just come straight out. A lot of people know I hate lemonade flavors, so I'll try the Addies right now. Well, you could send the lemonade right over here, Mikey. I love lemonade. <laughs> well, who knows? I might like that. You never know. If I don't, if I don't like it, I'll send it to you. Let me see. <laughs> you don't have to, Mike. I'm just fucking around. Oh, no, I'm serious. You guys ever try uh, the liquid from Element? No, is it tasty? Oh my god, it's fucking amazing. It's from England. Um, it comes in little 20 milliliter blue glass bottles, but they sell 125s and they're in uh, Pyrex triangular shaped beakers. Really, really awesome fucking juice. It's amazing, and it's not that expensive. I think the uh, the one twenty fives are like seventy bucks or something like that. So it's not insane. Where do you get that at, BK? Ooh, uh, there's a place called Vaping Me Crazy in New Hope, Pennsylvania. They have it. That's where I get it from. Um, besides that, I just Google it. But Mike, New Hope isn't shirt? that far from you. That's only like a 40-minute drive. You need to check out that shop, too. They have a lot of cool authentics there. Okay. Hold on. Let me let me, uh, let me me get this going. Uh. Pegasus is in the house. What's up, Peg? Hey. What's <laughs> up, Peg? Mike, what did you try? I'm doing uh, Addy's. Oh, Addy's. I want to taste what you taste, Mike. I bet you do. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> oh, it's good. If you were here right now, I'd have you chase the dragon. Addy's is a shit. Good stuff. Hmm. Smells rich so. and delicious. All right, let's try it. Tell you this, it's fucking cloudy. That's very good, fresh. Uh, fresh's juice is awesome. Wow. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really good. I'm just fucking with them. <coughs> you didn't make this with hamburger hands, did you, fresh? Hamburger hands. <laughs> Sweet. I have a ringing in my ears. It's like crickets. The fuck is? I think that's I the Manus. Swap out one of Pegasus's batteries now. Nice. These things are awesome. I think that's a Manus mating call that I'm well, hearing. I got a question for you. Some uh, some dude put a posted a pic of his uh, Vapor Shark DNA. 200, 
and that uh, material that they use, that rubberized finish, all peeling off it completely. Have you really? had that yet happen? No, I have not. Has it been that again? Up? Yeah, but you know what? Once I got that V, uh, the other DNA 200, I, I haven't really. I, I've been using those two devices at home. Right. I haven't okay. been taking them out, put them in my pocket with keys, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I couldn't believe when I saw that picture of his. Like, damn, already? Shit just came out. Yeah, that shit would piss well, me the uh, fuck off. Mike, Mike from Coil Master, I remember one of our conversations. He was telling me he said all the, the vapor sharks, they're made in China. Yeah, everything is in China. Yeah. That's why they dropped the prices. Down, you know? I can't wait for the new vapor flask. Hell yeah. ESX 350? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be the that's shit. That's going to be awesome. That's going to be awesome. I'm definitely getting one of those because they have them coming in at uh, vaping me crazy when they come out. What is that going to be, like 160 that. watts, guys? 100 watts. 100 watts. See, 100 watts is perfectly fine for me for the way I vape. 100 watts running uh, parallel. Oh. Blue Lightning 650. So... And the chip Honestly, they're using I'm... is a custom-made chip. It's not exactly the SX uh, the SX chip that's in here. It's custom-made. It has all the features, everything, same thing. But it's custom-made, I guess, size-wise to fit inside the Vapor Plus. It's a different number on the chip. <clears throat> like the, whatever I mean, is. honestly, I'm fine with 100 watts, too, like... This build on a mech, if I take this off a mech and throw it on a regulated, the same Addy, same build, I vape it at 90 watts and I get the same vape I'm getting out of a mech. Yeah. What's, people think they're getting like 150 watts, but you're not. Yeah, that's I'm getting the same thing here. I'd rather, I mean, the battery life, I don't know if you guys can see so far where I'm at. If you can see it, it's, it's dropping. Looks like about 25% done in there so far. So for those also that don't know, and I wonder, speaking of the vapor flask, Mike, uh, last night we talked about the SX Mini ML, which is the brand new ML class yes. from Yeehee. I want to show that to you guys. There it is. I wonder if the uh, vapor flask is going to just have that upgraded, or are we going to have to buy something and have it be outdated the day we get it? Well, that's going to be a Mike. different chip in that. There, that's exclu that chip is the ML chip. It's going to be exclusive only for that device. Well, it's the SX350J-V2 chip. Yeah, well, it's V2, but it's uh, they named it the ML series. Yeah, ML class. ML class, that's what now, it is. Now, what's, what's the specifications on that? Have they released the specs yet? No, but it says here, it says variable joule, N-I-T-I-S-S, of nickel, titanium, stainless steel, iron, silver, and gold. New innovative technology, SXI Q control system. Customize your own taste. That's all they have here. Well, we know Mikey Vapes is going to be vaping on gold coils. <clears throat> we know that. I mean, that's a given. <laughs> He's going to have a gold ML class vaping on gold coils in a gold Addy. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I got the Addy, so I'll have the twisted messes with the gold uh, piece on it. I'll be rocking that. Yeah. I love this. This is, you know, it took me a while to get this. I've been hearing from everybody to get the twisted messes, and it's not bad. I mean, you can't really put a big coil in here like those coils that they do. You see on Instagram, they don't fit in here. You know what I'm saying? I don't see them fitting in there. I barely got this one to fit. This is not even. Uh... A lot of those coils you see on Instagram, they're unusable. You can't even put the cap on and vape it. Yeah, that's for sure. So. I thought, yeah. I figured, I mean, I knew already that they didn't fit, but I figured since it's his RDA, he designed it, you would think that it would be designed for all that shit to fit in there. I don't know. But uh, other than that, I think it's fucking badass. I'm going to make a prediction. I think you're going to start seeing a lot more 24 and 25 millimeter RDAs moving forward because we have so many 24 and 25 millimeter mechs. I, I just totally see it happening. Plus, they look good on box mods, like the SIG 150, uh, stuff like that. What on here? On the boxer, it looks sweet. Yeah. I, I think agree. tomorrow, I think I might have tomorrow or Saturday. I'm not sure. I thought it was, uh, tomorrow's Friday, right? Yeah. 
I'm going to have the DNA uh, 200 boxes, both of them. The one with the LiPo and the other one with the dual 18650. Oh, that'll be a nice comparison, Mike. Yeah, he was sending me both. He wants me to do a video with both together to show them. So Beautiful. When's that video going up? Saturday, uh, 2 o'clock? No, I don't know. I don't have them yet. Oh, okay. But I might actually do them right out of the fucking, uh, what do you call it, United States Postal Service truck. Right inside the <laughs> video. Mike has a green screen that he carries around with him just so he can have the, the Mike Vapes room backdrop, but he's really in the fucking post van. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I'm actually in the DHL truck right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mike actually works for DHL. Shh. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't man. say that stuff. That other guy might get upset. We know who that is, right? Vaping Heathen? I thought he, I thought he worked for U.S. Customs because I was wondering how he got the shit so quick. Hmm. I gotta go. I gotta go drain that shit. I'm sorry, guys. Go drain that shit. Yeah, I usually wait. I, I don't review anything. I do what others are doing now. If I get something that's popular, I'll do a first look video, show yeah. the device, you know. No recommendations, no pros and cons, nothing. I'm just showcasing it, showing it to you what I got. You know, then after I do the review, I did that with the VT200, and I've been working on this one, and I got the review coming very soon for this with the software and everything for the eScribe. But, uh... Yeah, some stuff you could do that. Other stuff, yeah, I can really do a first look on video. I think I'm going to start doing that, too, once I get out of this pile of reviews I'm doing, because I always try to, like, sit on stuff for, like, a week or two before I put the review up, just because I don't want to be accused of being that guy. Yeah. You know? But I'm thinking about doing now uh, two reviews a day, putting up, doing, like, 14 videos a week so I can piss off that other guy. Hashtag. <laughs> not mentioning his name. I'm not mentioning his name. So I'm gonna thinking about doing two to three videos a day. What do you think, Brian? I'm thinking about putting up two to three videos a day now. So I think that's a great idea. Like a piss off that other guy, you know? Hashtag hate that shit guy. Yeah, the, the, I want the guy who off. will not, not be named. Let's not even yeah, talk I'm about it. Name, don't name. Attention. Don't yeah, the, if you're watching, don't comment in the comment who it is if somebody yeah. asks because I don't want to give him any attention. Yep. Fuck that. Yeah, don't put his name in the comments. Let me tell you something. There's a, a ton of really amazing reviewers that, you know, each one of us has a different style and a different way we, we review products. Some people get pr product reviews out really quick, and we want to show you guys the, the new exciting stuff. Some people do long-term tests or, or uh, you know, we really put it through the ringer, like P. Bissardo, and he has detailed specs and everything. Some people, like, um, you know, like Tia and... Uh, you know, uh, what's his name? Indoor like, smokers. Indoor smokers, yeah. Chris from Indoor Smokers. You know, they get a lot of new people that don't want to be overwhelmed with too much information. There's just, you know, there's there's enough room for everybody that does reviews. The last thing we need is, like, fighting amongst reviewers. It's fucking stupid, it's childish, and it's unnecessary. If you don't like watching a certain channel, don't watch it. Watch somebody else. There's enough choices. You know, it's like cable TV. you got fucking 5,000 different review channels. Pick the one you like and shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? What I'm going to do, just to piss him off even more, I'm actually going to review the picture of the new SX Mini. <laughs> review the picture. <laughs> I'm going to review the picture I have on my phone of the SX, the new SX Mini. I'm going to do a first look on the picture. Just the fuck Nice. <laughs> well, I always tell people, you know, if you're interested in a product, you know, and you see my review, and you really think you want that product, watch a bunch of other reviews too. You know, just don't go off of what I say. You know, try to get like a balanced perspective on, you know, to see if you really want that product. I completely agree. And everybody's preferences are different. Everybody's expectations are different. And uh, even if I did take like two or three weeks to review a product to see if, you know, the buttons hold up and shit like that, I got too many products that I can't, fucking vape it all day just like you would if you only have one device and it's your all day every day. It's impossible. I could wait two weeks and just put it aside like I know a lot of reviewers do and act like they're reviewing it for those two weeks, but most people get too many products in to spend that much time with it. You know, it's just the way it works. 
And that's why we have a community. That's why we have forums and groups and people can chat amongst themselves and you can read comments. If you're really that concerned about the longevity of the device, don't fucking buy it the first month. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> that simple. Yep. Couldn't have put it any better, man. Yeah. There's this one, uh, you know what? I'll say it. I don't give a fuck. There's this one dude that like bitched at me about my uh, my review of the, what was it, the... My brain is... I'm getting old. I think that's what it is. It's the H cigar, the VT200. And he commented, oh, you know, this fucking... You just got this today. And I'm thinking to myself, I spent like seven days reviewing the DNA200 from Vapor Shark. The board in it is exactly the same. The only thing I had in my hand was the freaking metal that separated the device yeah. and a couple buttons. I mean, the screen's identical. The firing button's identical. And he, and he, he disrespected me completely. And... Um, so I told him that he was wrong, and not in a real mean way or anything. And then he's commenting on other people's videos about me, like saying Brian from the Vapor Chronicles, you can't trust him, blah, blah, blah. And so what I did was I searched for his name on Google. What a fucking loser this dude is, okay? I saw his past with his girlfriends. I, you know, you be, Before you talk shit on the Internet, you better like check your shit before so you can see if like you got skeletons that are out there. Because you can't talk shit about somebody if you're you're like this dude. I mean, it doesn't fucking fly, you know. But they're the ones, the people that the people that are hurt the most are the ones that hurt the peop other people the most. You know what I mean? That's the way it works. Yep. There's a lot of lonely fucking losers out there that like to put people down because they hate themselves and they hate where they're at in life. True that. True that. True that. So what do you got? Guys, what do you guys think? Like a BK style rant. Yeah, I, I needed to fill in for you. I was actually drinking Drano before the show. <laughs> See, I'm sober tonight. Look what happens to Brian. Everything's yeah. out of balance. I, well, I ended up getting that Jazzy Boba that Mike recommended, and it's fucking got it's got kratom in it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Robert Ellis doing fucking what was that squirrel wire or so raccoon wire? I don't know. I I just wow. As far as Robert Ellis is concerned, <laughs> something's going on with him. That's all I'm going to say. But you know what? We all we all come out and, and appeal, uh, appeal to different people for different reasons. That's just the way this works. My crazy is your what you love, and you might hate my style or the way I review things, and you can watch Mike Vapes, and you can watch Buck Eggers. You know, that's what it's all about. There you go. My wife needs juice, and I'm giving it to her. So thoughts? Did you like that juice or not? Uh, the, well, it's when you're used to doing like cereal dessert vapes. Mm -hmm. I've never had bubble tea before. Right. Um, my my brain had to sort of get acclimated to what it was. <laughs> and once I got used to it, I'm like, hmm, that's delicious. It's definitely different. Yeah. I like it. By the way, there really was no kratom in the juice. I was just kidding. I was like, what's kratom? Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not a spokesperson. I don't condone or endorse Kratom. All I know is it makes you make crazy reviews about fucking Wire at late night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that stuff is real good with a titanium build. What, uh, Kratom? Oh, uh, no, uh, Jazzy Boba. Baba, Boba, whatever it's called. Boba. Titanium wire tastes very good with it. Thoughts? I feel I feel like I get a hotter vape off of titanium. I don't know what that is. <laughs> nah, I've actually been vaping titanium lately. Believe it or not. You're full. Of you. I, I swear to God, man. Ah. <laughs> Ay <sighs> That's going to be a punchline for the rest hold on, of my hold life. Hold on, guys. I have to ask my wife something. What did you say? Somebody said my wife is what? Somebody in the comments said my wife is a slut, and if I ever fucking find you, I'm going to break your neck. Sorry. I like it. Sorry about right. that. Yeah, I yeah. saw that. I just didn't uh, say nothing. Seriously? Uh, okay. Wow. And uh, who the hell was it that said it? Mike Vapes. 
Ever since we said we know who you are about that guy in the comments, he stopped typing. Anyway, so yeah, it's fucked up. Who said that? Oh, I know who said it. I'll tell you later. Put him on blast. Nah, I'm not going to put nobody on blast. I'll tell you later. He was joking around. Every, I'll tell you what, everybody here is in the house tonight. Tracy loves Jim, Vaping Jake, Todd F. is here. Dude, Garth, Garth Knight is here. Of all people, Garth Knight. Tracy loves Jim, Casey's here, there? Crowbar's here, everybody's here. What the fuck? Gizzard's here. Vaping Fagan. Pegasus. Who else? Vaping Heathen. Oh, by the way, the vape team is going to be on Vaping Fagan's not another vape show this weekend. Am I right, guys? Yep. LOL, it was me writing with my autocorrect, Brian. That's why I said I, I, he didn't mean that, trust me. He ain't like that. So, Daniel, you and I have issues. No, I'm just kidding. No, I love you, Dan. I know you would never intentionally do that, so yeah, much love, bro. Know. It's all good. <laughs> Auto what did you write to have it autocorrect a slut? It was probably like a Portuguese translation software or something like that. <laughs> hey, Eric. It just said hashtag Garth Knight said that shit. Garth Knight <laughs> is the biggest troll out of everybody in here. Yeah, the only problem zero, is... Zero Nick. Yeah, hashtag zero. zero Nick that shit. Hashtag Brian's <laughs> best friend and the guy he's known since he was fucking in middle school. Yep. Big O. Dwayne Rutherford. So, by the way, if you guys joined this show late and you want to know who won the giveaway tonight, we gave away four Coupor Minis. And um, all you have to do is when I re-upload the, the replay, you guys can watch this and you'll find out if you won. And if you're watching this on the replay for the first time, congratulations if you won. And it is 10.57 and... Like I always do, I gotta kill the fun. <laughs> Mike thought the same thing. <laughs> Thanks Not everybody for joining us. Talk. Okay, talk. I want to see that. Oh, it's half the battery went at 90 watts. Not, e not even. So you figure 90 watts, two hours, you could kill it. That's pretty awesome, though. See that, guys? You get expert advice, you get shenanigans, and you get real-time battery drain lipo testing on the vape team. Doesn't get any better. <laughs> and you might even get late-night drunken rants if BK's drinking. Oh, man. I'm going to start doing these shows sober just to throw everybody off. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, BK. I love you when you're sober because you're a nice guy. I'm always a nice guy. I'm a nice guy when I'm drunk. I just say stuff. <laughs> So why don't you uh, say your goodbyes there, BK Baracus? Well, it was nice seeing all of you again, even though I can't see you, and uh, we'll see you again next Thursday. No, Bye. Sunday. Oh, yeah, Sunday. We're going to be on Fagan's show, so I'll yeah. see you on Sunday. Yes. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. And, uh, yeah, this Sunday coming up, we're going to be on uh, Mark Vaping Fagan's channel on his live show. What is it? Not another vape show. And uh, I think the time for that is Sunday, uh, 7 Central, 8 Eastern time, something like that, right? I think it is, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, yeah, we'll be on his show, the three of us. And, uh, yeah, thank you for joining us, everybody. And let's all together hit that shit one time. Let's do it. By the way, uh, last week we went over by two minutes, so I'm ending two minutes early this week just to even it out. <laughs> <laughs> No, I wish you all the best. Keep dripping like you have the clap. Let's, yeah. let's finish this. 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. The vape team will be taking over my show. That's what Fagan just wrote in the comments. So Hit that shit, peeps. One time.